Hello and welcome to SDC Verifier Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you the possibilities of Panel Finder tool. Panel Finder automatically recognizes sections and plates with dimensions which are required for plate buckling checks. For this tutorial we will use model which represents the part of the ship and previously created SDC Verifier file. Panel Finder can be launched from the Recognition section in the Model tree or by pressing this button on the toolbar. In the Panel Finder wizard we see separate tabs for sections along X, Y and Z axis. We can search for sections in each plane separately by pressing button Find Sections or just press the button Find All and all the sections in all planes will be recognized automatically. After the recognition is done, you can see sections in this window on the left. Sections are representing frames, longitudinals or decks of the ship. It can be previewed by selecting all of them and pressing the preview button. In this case we can see the frames of the ship along x-axis. The same can be repeated for y and we are able to display longitudinals. And along the z-axis can select all the sections, press preview and display the decks of the ship. When only one section is selected, we are able to see the list of plates on the right. It is possible to manually add, delete or modify the plates. Plates are sets of elements which are surrounded by stiffeners or girders. It is also possible to manually change the length or width of your plate for cases when the recognition is not done properly because of some stiffeners or girders are missing. For example, we can split this plate and modify the length from 2.2 meters to 1.1. It will be taken into account in plate buckling check. We are also able to preview some plates. We pick any of them and press preview. In this case the place we picked will be highlighted. We also have a separate tab for custom sections which are showing the recognition of sections on elements that don't belong to any global plane. For example that could be curved or inclined sections. Let's preview it and here we are able to see that we have two curved sections on the hull of a ship and one inclined section on top. Next step is plot plates. It has some enhanced plotting possibilities. Here we can make a selection of plates to be plotted, for example all plates from all sections or only the plates of sections along X, Y or Z axis. We can also pick one certain section to be plotted. For example, here we have section X1 picked. Seven different plot types are available. We can plot by colors only. In this case, our section will be displayed with plates highlighted in different colors. We can also add labels. Uh, it can be labels of plate IDs or plate dimensions or number of edges. Let's pick the dimensions and press plot. In this case the same colored plot is displayed, but now we are able to see the dimensions of each plate. There is also a possibility to plot the lengths, width or labels with IDs of plates without dimensions. With the export plates tab we are able to create FEMAP groups and SDC components with recognized plates. We have the same selector on the left where we can pick all plates from all sections or one certain section and on the right we have a big amount of exporting options to FEMAP groups and to SDC components. And the last tab is filter. Here we are able to sort our recognized plates. There is different categories of sorting for example, we can 
check for undefined dimensions, previews a triangular, rectangular or not rectangular plates. We are able to check the number of edges, the plates with three edges. We also can check if we don't have any missed nodes or elements and sort by length or width. For example, let's check if we don't have any not properly recognized plates. We make the selection of all plates from all sections, select the category undefined dimensions and press apply. Nothing is shown in this list, so we don't have any plates with undefined dimension and all the recognition is done properly. In the same way we can check for triangular plates, we see five plates, we can select them all and also preview. Here we are able to see where are our triangular plates. When all the checking and editing is done, we can just press the close button. All the plates are saved and ready to be used in plate buckling checks.